If you had a collection of chocolate, you might be tempted to eat it. A collection of wine, maybe you'd crack the occasional bottle. But how does a woman keep a collection of the world's best perfumes without ever unscrewing a cap? My name is Marie and I collect miniature perfume bottles, going back about 29 years. Currently about 1100 and growing. All my perfumes are like my little babies. The first sample was given to me was a Chanel number no. 19 and uh, when I got them I got really interested because they were so cute and tiny and I thought hey I could start a, like, a collection. I believe in collecting not just the bottles but the perfume inside as well. It's the reason being is you want to capture the original scent from the house where the perfume comes from. I always feel that the sense of smell is one of the most expect of the five senses because it brings back memories. When it's stored correctly, perfumes actually retains its scent, its aroma for many, many years to come. It just becomes more fragrant, it becomes stronger. The beauty of the bottles are made deliberately to obviously to be collected and to be sold, so it, to entice you. These are all my Lalique miniature perfumes. This is the Eagle. This is the Half Man Half Horse classic Lalique glass. And they are all different perfumes. Perfume actually stems from Egypt and Mesopotamia 4,000 years ago. And that time it wasn't perfume, it was actually incense. So the word perfume actually is from the Latin word per as in through, fumas as in smoke. When Cleopatra heard of Mark Antony and uh, she enticed him by sending a perfume barge ahead of her before her barge arrived so that Mark Antony actually smelled the perfume before actually seeing Cleopatra. This is one of my oldest perfume. It's made by Prince Machabelli and the bottle is made in, in the rendition of his crown and uh, each perfume is handmade by him. This bottle is dated 1930. Napoleon happened to come across perfume and he uses perfume like apparently I was told like a, 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 a litre a day. This is my only snow dome miniature perfume. It's from Jean-Paul Gaudier. The house of Rodenstein made these two perfumes. This is the Kiss Roden the Kiss and this is made by the France's most famous perfumer, Francis Kamal. This is my naughty collection. Sometimes I do wake up in the middle of the night thinking I should buy this bottle. Guilty as charged. 